Now let's look into most demanded module Slack to Teams direct messages migration. Using this module, you can perform one-on-one -on -one charts and group charts to the destination. Let's look how this module works. Let's connect the Slack connection. Similar to first modules like we seen in earlier videos, we can make a new Slack connection or we can select the existing connection if it already added. Since this is a direct messages migration modules, every user need to connect with his accounts both in Slack and also in Teams to preserve to migrate their personal charts that means uh, if admin cannot migrate the one-on-one -on -one charts or group charts of other users either slack or teams won't allow that so each user need to connect both in slack and also teams with same account to make sure that his personal charts and group charts are migrated by himself for example, here I connected to Slack using Gauro account. That means I'm currently migrating Gauro personal charts and group charts with other users. One thing to remember in destination side is like we also need to connect with same user in destination teams as well. For example, in connect to Office 365 screen, I need to use Gauro credentials only to connect to teams. That means both in source and in destination, we need to use same user account. Then only self charts can be migrated. You can select the existing connection if it is already added or you can make the new connection like seen in the previous videos. Currently I'm selecting the Gauro account and I'm clicking on next. In the step three, all user charts between Gauro and other users will be loaded. I can select the charts between Gauro and others. For example, I'm selecting the charts with other users as well as the Gauro self chart as well. In the step four, the group charts will appear. Either you can skip it from migration or you can preserve the migration by selecting it on and clicking on next. In user and group mapping screen, by default, if the same user is available in destination with same name, he will be auto mapped by the tool. If not, we can search in the destination user and group section, we can perform mapping, for example, the user in test user 30 is either not available in the destination or available with different names. So I can search his name and I can perform mapping so that the charts will be the charts between test user 30 will be represented by Pranit at the destination. I'm clicking on next. To migrate self chart, the chart between Gaurav with himself, the tool is representing an error here. Let's see how to resolve this. Search for an available user in the destination, either it can be service account we created to preserve the self chart of each and every user or any other user. For example, I'm searching for one of my service account and I'm mapping with self chart user option and I can click on next. In the groups chart section, we can see the tool is presenting us one unresolved user. So that means the following users from Slack are available in destination and the only one user who is not available in destination is Uday. If we ignore this error, the group charts will be migrated to destination, but this user will be missing from the conversation. Either we can proceed if this user is no longer available in destination or else we can go back to user and group mappings and we can map accordingly. Since Uday is no longer available in destination, I'm mapping with one of the available user in destination who is going to represent Uday in the destination. Now this one unresolved issue is also been solved and now we can see there are zero unresolved users. I'm clicking on next. We have the option to select 
or skip content migration and conversation migration in these charts. Content represents files in the personal charts. Conversation represents the messages itself. Since we want to preserve all, I'm leaving the options as is and I'm clicking on next. These options are similar to previous modules. You can choose conversation exist behavior, what to do if the conversation already exists in the destination, I mean either because of previous migration or due to incremental migrations. And if an item already exists, what are the options to be preferred? For example, if we select copy and replace, all the files if they are already exist in destination will be deleted and recreated from the files from source. Copy if newer will migrate the file if it is either newly created or modified in the source after the previous migration. We will have a one more dedicated video explaining about item exist behavior. We are choosing the don't copy for now and we are leaving the options as it is. Do you want to append the following header? This option will make sure to append the following message to each and every message to identify the message where it came from. Either you can append this message or prefer to migrate as it is which is available in source. In this migration, I am preferring not to append the following message and I can click on content. We need to replace unsupported characters with any of the preferred character in destination. We can click on next. We can review our content and settings section and then we can click on start migration. Once the migration started, we can view the summary of the migration by clicking on details. We can filter by status and we can see the success and failures of the migration. This is how we perform direct messages migration from Slack to Teams. Thank you.